Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Material Welding. Please subscribe my channel to get regular updates on new video and support. This is a mock examination for the ASNT level 3 basic examination. Please use a pen and paper to write your answers. There are total 40 questions. Answers are given at the end of the video for verification. Question 1. Products used in load carrying applications require more careful testing because A. Failure can cause loss of life B. Failure can cause loss of use of the product C. Failure can be expensive D. Failure can cause danger to other structures E. All the above Question 2. Loads which are most likely to cause failure are A. Single direction B. Multidirectional C. Duodirectional D. Phase orientated Question 3. The general term for a local variation in material continuity is called A. A discontinuity B. A defect C. An indication D. A crack Question 4. Where an unacceptable condition occurs in a material, Due to local variations in material continuity the term given specifically to this is A. A discontinuity B. A flaw C. A defect D. Any of the above Question 5. Which of the following could be considered a discontinuity? A. Crack B. Change of section C. Drilled hold D. All the above Question 6. The study and description of a material property related to analytical studies and testing attempts to quantify the toughness of a material is known as A. Fracture mechanics B. Acceptance standards C. Defect reliability D. Defect analysis Question 7. A flaw which is deemed to be unacceptable standards is called a. A discontinuity B. A defect C. An indication D. A blemish Question 8. Which of the following is not considered a mode of failure? A. Fracture B. Plastic deformation C. Fatigue D. Elastic deformation Question 9. Brittle fracture is most likely to occur a. At high temperatures B. At low temperatures C. Under cyclic loading D. In a corrosive environment Question 10. NDT is generally not carried out on cast irons because A. Cast iron is inherently free from major defects B. Due to the high carbon content cast iron can withstand high tensile stresses C. It is generally used in applications where the loads are principally comprehensive. D. The low cost of cast iron cannot justify the high cost of NDT. Question 11. To make by hand, machinery or by agency, to produce by labor and usually machinery, defines the A. Manufacturing process B. Engineering process C. Machinery process D. Technology Question 12. Processing is one or more steps that change a product's A. Shape B. Properties C. Chemical analysis D. Shape and properties E. All the above Question 13. Changing a material's shape can be accomplished in which of the following states? A. Solid B. Liquid C. Plastic D. Solid and liquid E. All of the above Question 14. Which of the following is an example of reshaping? A. Casting B. Forging C. Grinding D. All of the above Question 15. The process of solidification during casting can be likened to that of the A. Forging process B. Rolling process C. Welding process 
De-extrusion process. Question 16. Reshaping of a material whilst in a plastic or semi-solid form is called A. Casting B. Rolling C. Extrusion D. All of the above E. Rolling and Extrusion Question 17. Which of the following could be referred to as an engineering material? A. Plastic B. Concrete C. Glass D. All of the above. Question 18. Which of the following properties of a material can be used to predict the deflection of a certain size beam under known loads? A. Tensile strength. B. Elastic limit. C. Young modules. D. Ductility. Question 19. Which of the following must be considered when choosing an engineering material for a particular application? A. Cost B. Loading C. Mechanical properties D. Inspection costs E. Any of the above Question 20. Which of the following could affect the properties of an engineering material? A. Composition B. Heat-treated condition C. Crystal structure D. Composition and heat-treated condition E. Composition, Heat Treated Condition and Crystal Structure Question 21 Which of the following is classed as a chemical property? A. Electrical Conductivity B. Thermal Conductivity C. Corrosion Resistance D. Machine Resistance Question 22 Which of the following is classed as a physical property? A. Density B. Conductivity C. Melting point D. All of the above Question 23 A test designed to determine a material's castability would be classified as looking for A. A. Mechanical property B. Physical property C. Processing property D. Chemical property Question 24 Internal forces acting upon imaginary planes cutting the body being loaded are A. Stresses B. Pressures C. Strain D. Fatigues Question 25. A stress caused by forces at an angle to the plane is known as A. A. Comprehensive stress B. Tensile stress C. Normal stress D. Shear stress Question 26. A non-destructive test is usually classified as A. A. Indirect test. B. Direct test. C. Destructive test. D. Indirect and direct test. Question 27. If a material is loaded until its elastic limit is exceeded, what condition will occur? A. The material may fracture. B. The material may be work hardened. C. The material will show no harmful effects. D. The material may fracture and the material may be work hardened. Question 28. The ultimate strength of material is A. Lower than the breaking strength for ductile materials. B. Lower than the rupture strength for ductile materials. C. The same as the breaking strength for brittle materials. D. None of the above. Question 29. The modulus of elasticity is also known as A. Stresses modulus B. Young's modulus C. Strains modulus D. Resilience Question 30. Which of the following materials exhibits better compressive strength than tensile strength? A. Cast iron B. Concrete C. Wood D. Concrete and wood E. All the above Question 31 When a metal is very brittle which test is used to replace the tensile test? A. The shear test B. The transverse rupture test C. The compression test D. The endurance test Question 32 Fatigue failure may initiate from 
A. An area of corrosion. B. An internal flaw. C. A surface notch. D. All the above. Question 33. Which of the following is a notched bar test? A. Tensile impact test. B. Charpy test. C. Isode test. D. Charpy test and isode test. E. All the above. Question 34. Hardness tests can be used to determine material. A. Hardness. B. Composition. C. Heat treated condition. D. All the above. Question 35. The superficial Rockwell test is carried out on materials that A. Only allow very small surface blemishes. B. Are very ductile. C. Have very large surface areas. D. None of the above. Question 36. Calculate the factor of safety given that a material has a working stress of 15. 000 ibs per square inch and an elastic limit of 60 000 lbs per square inch a2 b4 c6 d8 question 37 which of the following is a notched bar test a HRP. b creep c isode d HRP and isode e all of the above Question 38. To what angle should a bend test be normally bent? A. 180 degrees. B. 150 degrees. C. 90 degrees. D. None of the above. Question 39. Which of the following is a hardness test? A. Rockwell. B. Creep. C. Charpy. D. Isode. 40 stresses that act along or parallel to a plane are known as A. Shear stresses B. Tensile stresses C. Compressive stresses D. All of the above Here answers are given for learner reference Reference <laughs>